Yesterday I spoke to a fellow by the name of Grand Reno, a free speech advocate, a journalist, a Dubliner, and as you can imagine, a bit of a lunatic. But rather than try to talk sense into him, I asked him about where he got his notions of self-expression. We had a bit of a chat. He wasn't too bad of a fella, in fairness to him, but I don't think he can be helped. He's too far gone. But you never know. Hello? Hello? Is it? <clears throat> I'm looking for a uh, Gran Torino, right? Uh, this is uh, Shawnee, Shawnee McGrant of bandyinternet.org. No, I, I, I wanted to have no chat if you have a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Is this a survey for something? Well, no, I, I have, I, I, I'm running a campaign there to uh, ban the internet and shut down free speech. Say that again. <clears throat> uh, I... Yeah, I, I, I'm running a campaign to ban the internet and to oh, shut down. Don't shut. Bring me. Sh- uh, I thought it. I talked to you because you be, you're you're a proponent of the uh, free speech, as I understand it. Yes, I'd be an advocate for free speech, the cornerstone of any democratic society. Exactly. So I, I have a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. Um, <clears throat> so. Grand Tree, you know, is 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 gaining in um in popularity, as some people would call it, and not to catching fire, all right. It seems to be catching fire. Not notoriety in other circles, and uh, of course, but um, tell tell us a short bit about yourself and uh, where you're coming from and all that. I was just there, uh, alone, alone playing drifter. I just uh, breezed in here and I seen there was some trouble in these here lands because uh, free speech was under attack, and so I said, well. Can't have that. Gotta have a bit of free speech. Yes, you yes. Should free speech now. Well, I mean, <clears throat> the thing is, it is, it is all very well, but like you know, uh, people having opinions and all that. But like, anyway, we we won't get into my thing. We, I just wanted to ask you a few a few questions about your thing, yeah, right? Go ahead. Okay. Now, why is free speech so important to you? Well, I think, I think uh, all opinions should be heard and should be given an airspace. As long as you're not inciting violence or causing anyone any harm, all speech should be unregulated and should be heard. Uh, and should be, it should be no restriction on anyone's uh, expression of, of speech. Like, uh, how, how are we going to bring everything together and organise things? It's probably going to have to come under the guise of a, of a benevolent dictator. That's usually the only way that kind of system works, the one you're trying to advocate. Whereas in the free speech system, the melee of conversation, conversation usually the best idea, gets to the top. And that's the idea that people generally go with. Right, right, well... Yeah, you can, you can dream away, dream away with your... <laughs> It's your freedom of speech. No, <clears throat> could could you tell me what what qualifications do you have for doing journalism? Absolutely no. Right. Yes. No, no, no qualifications whatsoever. I just want the truth to be heard, and I want context and conversation. And I don't believe that our media gives us a fair and balanced idea of what's going on. They skew it in one direction, so I'm. I'm prone trying to get the pendulum to swing the other way, and let's have both sides of the conversation. Well, you know, I tell you now, you might think this is funny, but I completely agree with you on uh, on your points about uh, the, the skewing of things and not telling the truth and all that. But there's good reason for it. There's good reason that the Irish Times and RTE and and the the mainstream media in Ireland is telling. A complete and utter horseshit because they know that free speech doesn't work and that they need to centralise information to one source, the government, who knows how to run things. And that's why, that's why they're doing what they're doing and they know their job. And we should all be, we should all be doing the same thing. Know your job, do it and get on with it. Keep the head down. <clears throat> Can I ask how many people have signed your, uh, your, your petition so far or have signed up well, here to ascribe to you? Of course, obviously, I'm keeping, uh, <clears throat> I'm keeping that information uh, under my hat. But, uh, Pretty much like the government. Uh, ex- well, exactly, exactly. Uh, 
you've heard of my campaign uh, to uh, to unseat uh, Jan Claude Juncker and take his uh, take his job as as a uh, uh, president of the European EU Commission. Jeez, you, I think you do a, a fantastic job, Sean. I think I think you'd be just a man to replace him. Well, I, I thank you very much. Uh, like, I mean, I think uh, he, Jan Claude Juncker, has the right idea. You know, shutting down free speech, bringing the whole thing under control, bringing the Euro, you know all the European countries. They think they know. They think they know best for themselves how to run their own lives, and. Jan Claude Juncker understands that a new man will hush that. I mean, he's. I mean, he's. Oh, two arch enemies of the sovereign nations of, of Europe. They're well, great, great proponents of, uh, of totalitarianism. Well, exactly, exactly. The but, leading lights. Is that, is that what you're trying to? Just what you're trying to go for as well? You want to be the leading proponents of totalitarianism? Well, absolutely. I mean, you call it whatever you want. You know, call it whatever you want. But, I mean. It's just organisation. That's all it is. Organisation and simplifying things so they can be done, they can be run properly. Uh, I hear you. So, like, the, the socialism all throughout the world has been tried and tested. They they just didn't have the right way of doing it. But your way of socialism, you're the one that's going to bring this uh, utopia to its, to its realisation. Uh, well, <coughs> socialism, it, socialism doesn't work. What we need is communism. Ah, pure on next level. Yeah, st Stalin. Go the you want to go back to the source. Absolutely, oh, the, the original ways were the best. The best, yeah. <clears throat> uh, but I started to turn me on this, actually. I started to turn me on this. Well, you know, to, to, you, there, be great, to be, great to have you on board, Tony. Well, I tell you now, uh, there's a lot of people who are going to be very happy to hear that. Because you're going to be able to tell them how to do it. Because you're going to be able to tell them how to do it. Because you're going to be able to tell them how to do it. Because you're going to be able to tell them how to do it. Because you're going to be able Sign up for the newsletter. I'm I'm releasing a worldwide newsletter called the Weekly Suppressor. It's <laughs> it's it's a new it's a new publication, uh, expanding on the movements to shut down free speech around the world. And we're going to have a list. I'm going to have two lists on it, and one one is the Friends of Suppression. And the other is the enemies of suppression. No. Well, communism, communism is always a good one for lists. They do not they look better than to make a last list or two. The communism. Exactly. You have to sign me up. You'll have to, you'll have to, I have to read in. Well, if you go, if you, if you, if you go to bandyinternet.org and sign up there, dot org, and sign up to the newsletter, to the pop up on the website. Oh my God! And you're using capital. You're using the, the capitalism to spread your ideas for shutting down the internet. You're using that's a clever way you're doing it. Use the internet to shut the internet down. The the plan because pe you're you're right to bring that up. I'm glad you brought it up because people are people are confused about it. The idea is that ban the internet dot org would be the last website on the internet before it is finally shut down. Oh my God, that's the that's the dream. That's it. You have to run that past Google and Facebook. You have to get. To I would, uh, don't worry about Google. No better, man, no better Google, I'd say, than to go in there and shut the whole system down. Oh, shut it all down. Google, your days are numbered. Facebook, and all of them, and Twitter. Good luck. Good, good luck to you all because you'll all be, you'll all be looking for jobs afterwards, and it, you, you won't get a job on my farm. I tell you because you. Because you 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 won't be you won't be too experienced in your piking hair and all that, right? No. Listen, Michelle, I'm gonna sign up your publication, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to jump off here and tell the rest of my free speech advocates that our days are numbered. And I don't know. Right. I'm gonna have to figure figure another way out of. Right, you are. I tell you what, no, I tell you what. Sign up for the old newsletter. Tell all your friends, and uh, they, they can so that they know what's going on at least. Because I tell them what's going on, I tell them. But uh, thanks. You email them on the internet and spread the word about exactly. on the internet. Ex exactly, okay. exactly. Listen, good to talk to you, and sure uh, we'll, do it again. we'll do it again sometime.
Yeah, call me up because I'm very interested in seeing how this this progression of exactly this progression of free speech will work out. Exactly. I d- call, buddy. Okay, talk to you later. Good luck, you know. Good luck now. Uh, Good luck now.